My name is Bijan Ferreduni. I'm doing hair transplantation since 22 years and this exclusively. So, uh, 22 years means that uh, you have a lot of experience, means also that you started with FUT. Yes, we start with FUT and uh, I saw during the International Congress in New York in 2004 the first time in FUE and was very enthusiastic about this new technique. And it was a difficult way, but finally over the years we get better instruments, better punts, we manage the technique and I personally would say in my opinion that the FUE is the gold standard in hair transplantation today. Gold standard, yes, but we see also a lot of problems with the FEE. I'm, I'm sure you have a lot of patients which coming to you with having not happy with the FEE. So what kind of problems do you experience? We have two problems. We have to see the recipient area and we have to see the donor area. Donor area means we have very often depleted donor areas, wrong directed, uh, uh, wrong extracted, sorry, wrong extracted areas, uh, and moth eaten appearance in the donor, horizontal, vertical uh, lines, how we call it, and uh, this is difficult to correct. So we have to take out the units, follicular units from other areas and try to resick in those depleted areas. The other is the recipient side where we have to deal with the wrong size, wrong place, wrong angulated and wrong directed follicles. Uh, which is also not easy to correct. So what you say is, is not, uh, you say it's not a problem of the technique as is, it's more a problem of the person doing it. No, that's the, that's the key point. The, many people know FUE is, the, is a more easy technique and they just jump in without being educated or doing their homework. Uh, FUE could be a very, very bad technique in the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's essential to have some experience? Yes, definitely. Okay, there's another good news, repair work will be the future. <laughs> repair work is the future. When I say it in my office today, we have 20%, minimum 20% of the work are uh, repair works today. Mm -hmm. Which could have been avoided choosing a better doctor before. It's not only, yes, for sure, you, you, you have to educate yourself, you have to choose a good doctor, a good clinic. Yes, I think the doctor is more important. Sometimes I have a patient in my office, they even don't know the name of the doctor, which uh, is... If there has been a doctor. If there has been a doctor also, yes. 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 We know that a lot of clinics are run without any doctor. Mm. Or without the patient seeing at least the doctor. Better maybe to pay a bit more and to have less problems afterwards this could be my Yes, opinion. today we have a lot of information on the on the internet forums, especially for hair transplantation. We have them in Germany, we have them in Italy, we have them in Spain, we have them in France, so you get a good overview about the possibilities and about good clinics and also bad clinics.